True economics is the economics of justice. That's Gandhi from Sarvodia. I don't think we need much convincing today to see that one of the greatest and most painful expressions of injustice is economic inequality. That's why Gandhi's lifestyle of living simply, going back to basics, was a very powerful way to overcome differences, hostility, domination, the sense of alienation from other people. So while our common humanity is not itself an economic fact, it's a spiritual fact, it has to express itself in our outer behavior, and that has to be both in terms of our moment-to-moment -moment behavior, what we do, how we act to one another, and also the structures that are built into our society. As long as we have structures that disadvantage some groups to the material advantage of others, that will, quite frankly, be a violent society. So while Gandhi was, you know, in the core of his nature, he was a spiritual person, it is remarkable how he expressed that spirituality in the most practical, the most mundane, what we would call sometimes the most materialistic, well, or rather, the most material of terms. <laughs> 